On this episode, we explore around the town of Porto de Soya, our only stop in Mallorca. We decide we should stretch our legs on a hike, so we head out from the town and look forward to enjoying some Mallorcan countryside. After practicing our captain's waves, of course. Although it turns out that finding our way to the trail isn't so easy. Soon we're on our way and making new friends. Animals, of course. Cappy G wasn't so into the lambs, but he did love the road. And we're lost again. After following the winding roads for what seemed like forever, we finally found ourselves on a real trail and only an hour from our destination, the town of Fornalu. The hike was amazing, passing farms and orchards, and then getting views of the ocean and so yeah, and even a distant view of Evie, way down there. This one man standing in my way today, in my way today, but when I look through the glass in a different way, I see that man is me. An old gate. Gracias. This was the highest we got, because even on land, we're not safe from the weather, and the Cappy G update is that rains are coming. I should have a long lunch on the trail. Oh yeah. So we're just above the little town of Fornaluz, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful towns in Europe. And apparently it means window candle in the window, something like that. Um, it's really cute. We just walked here for about two hours to get down, uh, having lunch on the way, and then we're going to check it out and maybe find some snacks. There's one man standing in my way today, in my way today, but when I look through the glass in a different way, I see that man is me. So hold Our time to explore the town is cut short by the ominous weather. There are some dark clouds up there. I think we're going to get rain done. <laughs> What's happening? You can see the storm coming for us. It's like Melbourne here. It's only one minute, and now it's raining. Oh, from the main street. We're looking for somewhere to stop in from the rain and both my brothers have gone different directions. So Roland's gone that way somewhere and Shannon's gone that way. So we're waiting in the doorway. Thank you. 
<laughs> Is this don't stand here or do stand here? Oh. There's a dragon actually. Luckily, it did actually stop and we got an escape from the rain. Very skilled driver to keep us between such a tight space. <laughs> pretty much runs on tracks. I like the tram here. Rowan, any thoughts? Shelby. Hey Shannon, what's this? Um, all wasn't well at our end of the boat either. Oh, Might have left a hatch open above the bed. How's the bed look? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Gee, what happened in our room? Uh, I left the bathroom hatch open as well and the and the bathroom door. <laughs> the rain's come through the hatch, through the door, onto the floor and the bed. <laughs> Rookies. We're not used to this bad weather stuff. Nothing a hot shower can't fix, right? What's this? G has cut sashimi from our tuna that we caught yesterday. So Fresh sashimi. It's from the big eye tuna. From the big eye tuna. So we're going to eat it. How was the, the sashimi? It was amazing. It is amazing. It's so fresh and delicious. So all of a sudden our dinner plans have changed. And <laughs> sashimi everything. You're looking very smart in the blanket there as well. Thanks. Do you like my new jacket? It's got a bit of a puddle on it. I left the hatch open. God, hey. <laughs> it happens. Shit happens. The next day, the clouds had parted, so after a morning of chores and with drinks in hand, we explored more around So Yeah. <laughs> One man standing in my way today, in my way today. But when I look through the glass in a different way, I see that man is me. There's one man standing in my way today, in my way today. It really is a beautiful place. <laughs> He's eating Ross off his foot because he just threw his dinner everywhere. <laughs> The dinner launched out of the bowl. <laughs> it went everywhere. I think you launched your fork out of the bowl. It attacked happened. me, and now I'm eating the last of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once you're done eating toe jam rice, who wants who wants to tell us what we're doing? That's a big. <laughs> yep. Other than eating toe jam rice, Shannon, would you like to tell us? Sorry, I've got a mouthful of food. Town. Where are we? What are we doing? We're eating an early dinner because we're about to leave Majorca and head to Ibiza. And oh, we're well, planning to anchor there. So it should be maybe 12 hours. A bit of wind later, hopefully. And then we'll spend some time on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> As a crusty seed, I would say. <laughs> Is that about right, Cappy? Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> I see that man is made. So hold on. 